Um, the Lawrence Partnership is a private-public partnership that was founded uh, a year and a half ago, bringing together uh, members of, of every sector to work together for economic development here in the community. The, the Venture Loan Fund was our first initiative that brought capital together from participating banks and credit unions, including TD Bank, uh, Eastern Bank, Enterprise Bank, and Merrimack Valley Federal Credit Union. Uh, that money then was added to by the City of Lawrence as a loan loss reserve and uh, we created a million dollar venture loan fund which is really targeting businesses in this community looking to, to grow and create jobs. Um, we are really, really fortunate to have an incredible CF CDFI in the community, uh, Mill City Community Investments, that's been our partner along our side throughout this whole process. Not only has Frank been able to meet with businesses uh, you know, uh, initiate and process loans, but he's a great resource for providing technical assistance. And so today we're, we're celebrating the first businesses that are the recipients of this million dollar venture loan fund. We're celebrating the collaborative spirit uh, that brought all of these uh, folks together from the private and the public sector. And we're also celebrating the, the future opportunities for expansion. Uh, and, and to that extent, we're really happy to have Mass Growth uh, Capital Corporation here, who's going to be making an announcement about a, a, another investment in this great community of Lawrence uh, for further opportunities uh, for, for businesses. So without further ado, I want to uh, introduce uh, a man who, again, is a consensus builder, somebody that brings people to the table and allows things to get done. Um, uh, the city has played a very active role in this process, uh, but has also been a very active partner in encouraging the private sector to, to, uh, to show up in force, too. So uh, our fearless leader, Mayor Dan Rivera, uh, is going to say a couple words. Yeah. So um, just a round of applause for, um, for Derek and the work that the partnership is doing, you know, great work. It's, it's a, lot, a lot easier for what looks on the outside than it is on the inside. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of this work without our government partners. Um, I, we would be uh, remiss to, not to mention that um, uh, a representative from Senator Barbara Italian's office is with us today. Um, and she's always a great leader, and she shows up to the partnership meetings all the time. Um, a representative, Frank Moran, uh, I believe we're in Frank's district, uh, and this is uh, one of those things where, again, we can't get these things done without the, the state reps and the state senators doing their work. Um, you know, greetings from the city council and, and uh, our, our colleagues in government. This is a big deal for us. Um, you know, for a long time, the city's had revolving loan funds. It just didn't, it just didn't work as well as it could have worked. Um, so it was spotty when it was working. Um, it was uh, it was really an asset that we didn't really leverage. And so to have the, the leadership from the partnership um, figure out a way to leverage our dollars um, and the dollars of the lending institutions to, to make a bigger impact um, is something that, you know, we, we will be forever grateful for. I was talking to Congresswoman Sangas, um, another great partner for the city, and she said the number one thing that they did early at the Lowell plan was to create a fund just like this. That was one of the biggest things they did early on. Um, uh, clearly, we would not be able to do that without um, the help of Frank Avalo um, and the Mill City uh, organization that helps us out um, with this process because we don't have the capacity in hand. And, and I say that just Frank, but you know, we know that the leadership um, over there is a big part of our community. Uh, Kristen Harrell, who's also the president, uh, who's also the chair of our um, Lawrence Redevelopment Authority, but also is on the board of, of Mill Cities, is a, a big leadership, plays a big leadership role in this too. But Frank specifically, he's like the secret sauce, like, you know, uh, inside the black box. I don't know how he gets it done. People don't know these knots and he unties them and he makes them look nice and they look like bows at the end of the day. Um, but I, I just wanted to let you know from our, the bottom of our heart that the work that you do um, is priceless and we really appreciate it. So round of applause for Frank. Yeah. Um, I'll stop talking, um, but this is the, 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 the type of businesses we want to, to um, um, we should have the, the owner of CYA Rankers here with us. Um, I didn't know he was a liceista, uh, he likes lice. Uh, so some people are escogido, but I'm just, I'm going to give you a hard time about that. It's a Dominican baseball league thing, I'm sorry, <laughs> inside joke. Um, but, the, you know, these businesses, if you haven't had a chance to walk around, they employ a lot of people. 
and a lot of people that need the work, their, their kids are going to our schools, people that will walk to this place from their homes. And so the more that we can support organizations like this, the better our community will be. Um, Cause they, and they make good bread, if you haven't had some. I was gonna buy some, but you know, I don't wanna be on camera buying bread and <laughs> sugary snacks. It's just, you know, I got issues I gotta deal with. But all that being said, it's a great day for the city of Lawrence. And uh, um, I think that this is just the beginning. So thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to introduce uh, Larry, the president from Mass Growth uh, uh, Capital Corporation, who's going to uh, be making an announcement about a, a, an additional investment to Mill City Community Investment and, and uh, the city of Lawrence. It's a ple pleasure to be here. I'll make sure I get the bread into your car. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's a, it's a privilege to be in Lawrence today. Uh, I've been in my banking career and now as president of Mass Growth. Uh, what's happening in Lawrence is very exciting and we're very proud to be a part of it. And we thank you very much, Mayor Rivera, for uh, spearheading uh, the renewal of, of Lawrence. Um, I, Mass Growth Capital, uh, in, on behalf of the legislature and the Polito, uh, Baker Polito administration, we administer what's called a Small Business Technical Assistance Competitive Grant. And that is uh, given to uh, uh, CDCs and, and organizations that provide technical assistance uh, to cities, especially gateway cities as Lawrence is. And it is a competitive grant, which means there's, there's $2 million. And then uh, it is then uh, uh, applied for. And we're very pleased that uh, Mill Cities Investment Corporation is uh, a grantee, grantee this year of 55 million, of uh, 55 million. Wow. You know, uh, yes. that's right. <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be the janitor after this one. Uh, $55 thousand uh, dollars to Mill Cities and we're, we're very pleased. Uh, this will be the second year in which Mill Cities has uh, received this this grant uh, and the reason why is because of Frank uh, and because of the work that Frank does and we're very pleased to uh, be a part of uh, what's happening in, in Lawrence and, and, what, and, uh, and also uh, Frank's organization. And so uh, I would like to introduce Frank because he can tell you a little bit of what, what his, his view of, of how this money helps. Um, my understanding, it hasn't come out yet, but there is uh, funding uh, for the Small Business Technical Assistance Grant uh, that I believe the, the, the uh, governor is putting into his budget. Uh, and um, we're going to make sure that we continue with that. We, uh, Frank Moran, re represent. we thank you very much for your support on this as well. Uh, and so I'd like to, to introduce uh, Frank Car Carvello. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. 55 million. <laughs> I'll hold you to the okay. 55. It's on record. Okay. Good morning, everybody, and uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here today. Um, Mill Cities Community Investments is a uh, community development financial institution, and uh, we are a loan fund, and our mission is to make investments in low-income areas in the Merrimack Valley, and uh, we've been very active over the last uh, five years uh, here in the city of Lawrence. Uh, we, we, we really pride ourselves in the, uh, in the relationship and the partnership with Lawrence uh, Partnership with the city of Lawrence, uh, who we have been very active with uh, within the last five years, and uh, with the partnership with, with uh, Mass Growth Capital. The, the grant that uh, they announced uh, has allowed us to uh, finally add staff. I've been the only staff member for the last seven years, and uh, with the additional staff, we are going to be able, with this fund, we are going to be able to add two great new, two new jobs uh, in our organization. So we are continue to contribute uh, in our own ways uh, uh, to the uh, local community. Today is a festive day for us because we are going to uh, 
represent uh, the, the first two loans that together is going to uh, create uh, about 22 jobs. Uh, the, the bakery uh, initially is going to uh, have 10 new jobs, and then uh, hopefully by the end of the year they'll add another 10 jobs. Uh, so 20 jobs is what we are uh, hoping to, uh, to achieve uh, with this investment. And uh, we also have across the street uh, a business uh, that, that is, uh, uh, provides uh, musical uh, uh, equipment for, for automobiles, and, and that's Auto Body uh, Music uh, LLC that's located back on Broadway, right across the street from us. So without further ado, I would like to call Ramon and Wesley to, uh, to, to up here and present them with, uh, with the uh, check for the loans and the credit, I take a lot of the credit for making the loans, but without these two guys and their families, I would not be making, uh, I, I would not be taking any credit. They do all the hard work. They are the ones that have to get up early in the morning, stay too late at night to make sure that their people get paid. Without them, there would be no economic development. So I'm very proud to, to be able to introduce each one of them and to present them with this check. And hopefully, this will be uh, their first step in becoming bankable and have all the banks in the area offer them millions of dollars so they can continue to- <laughs> $55 million loan. Yeah, 50, yeah. <laughs> to continue to grow their business and continue to create new uh, uh, employment opportunities in the city of Lawrence. Yeah. Can we, so- Can we get the state reps to come up and- yeah. Sure. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do hey, a couple. Yes. Also, I'd like to uh, welcome and thank uh, Representative Marcos Devers for being here. Marcos is an active member of the partnership and a, a huge champion of the Venture Loan Fund. Thanks for being here. Um, so um, I think why don't we do a series of pictures? Why don't we uh, get a bunch of people up initially? And then why don't we do uh, individual uh, uh, pictures with the checks and the business owners as well? Okay. Is it good. okay? All right. So why don't you guys get in the front? Yes. Um, Do we, do we uh, need any other uh, pictures? You want to do one uh, separate for each business? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Yes, All right. Do you want to step Did up for a second? Yeah. And then, and then. Yeah, okay. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, if I don't have your contact information, uh, please get it to me and I'll, I'll send a press release uh, within a couple hours with additional photos. Um, if I already have your contact information, then you can get it. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Ron, if you have any questions, I'll tell you what's there. 